African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation in Ukraine on the 26th of December, 2022, the armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupansk direction, concentrated fire attack launched at an area of concentration of the manpower and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine, Armed Forces Ukraine, near Kislovka, Kharkov region, has resulted in the elimination of up to 20 Ukrainian servicemen, one infantry fighting vehicle and two motor vehicles. In Krasny Lyman direction, Russian artillery fire has hit Armed Forces Ukraine units near Makievka and Nevskoy, Lugansk People's Republic, as well as Terny and Torskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, one Armed Forces Ukraine sabotage and reconnaissance group, as well as one Armed Forces Ukraine mortar crew have been destroyed near Stelmakovka and Chervenaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy has lost up to 30 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles and two pickup trucks in the above-mentioned direction. In Donetsk direction, Russian forces continued their successful offensive, during which they took advantageous positions. A strike launched at a command post of the 80th Airborne Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces Ukraine has resulted in the elimination of more than 35 Ukrainian servicemen, including five senior officers, near Kramatorsk, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy has lost a total of up to 100 servicemen, four infantry fighting vehicles and eight motor vehicles. In South Donetsk direction, artillery fire and active action of Russian forces have resulted in the neutralization of the armed forces Ukraine units near Vladimirovka, Ugladar, Novodonetskoy and Novosyolka, Donetsk People's Republic. More than 40 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles and three pickup trucks have been eliminated. Missile troops and artillery have neutralized 63 Armed Forces Ukraine artillery units at their firing positions, manpower, and military equipment at 79 areas. The provisional bases of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces Ukraine and foreign mercenaries have been neutralized near Yelizavatovka and Slavyansk, Donetsk People's Republic. Within the counter-battery warfare, Two Ukrainian Grad Multiple Launch Rocket Systems, MLRS, have been destroyed near Pervomeskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Kamishevaka, Zaporozhye region. Three Ukrainian D-30 howitzers have been destroyed near Torskoy, Vadinoy, and Maryanka, Donetsk People's Republic. One U.S. manufactured M777 artillery system, used for shelling residential areas, has been detected and destroyed near Georgievka, Donetsk People's Republic. Two U.S. manufactured Mars MLRS, two Gvostika self-propelled howitzers, five D-30 howitzers, and three special motor vehicles have been destroyed near Kramatorsk, Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have shot down seven unmanned aerial vehicles near Kremenea, Lugansk People's Republic, Chervenoy, Kudinikovo, and Kropivnitskoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Zmaevka, Kherson region. In addition, two Hamars MLRS have been intercepted near Rubeznoy and Krasnorechenskoy, Lugansk People's Republic, and two harm missiles near Bayrak, Donetsk People's Republic. In total, 352 airplanes and 192 helicopters, 2,731 unmanned aerial vehicles, 399 air defense missile systems, 7,249 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 944 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 3,719 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 7,765 units of special military hardware have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.